I want to talk about the devil's tricks. You know, the word of God says in the revelation that Satan, Lucifer, old Slewfoot, you know, his, his whole ambition he, is to deceive the whole world. That's his most lethal weapon is deception. And so he tricks people all the time. He can't kill you. He can't destroy you. But he can deceive you into thinking something like the grass is green on the other side. And that's all he does is trick and deceive people. So he'll set you up and, and make things more appealing to the natural eye or to the flesh than they are to the spirit. When it's time to read, of course, you always get sleepy. When it's time to go to church or you know you need to be there on your post to be an usher or a deacon or, or singing on the music team or what have you, all of a sudden you got other things going. When it's time to go out for prayer, you know, that's not as important anymore. But then when there are carnival events, like a carnival or church having a picnic and things of that sort, everybody packs the house because those things appeal to the flesh. And so anyway, he uses tricks, little baby, little baby demon tricks, like don't go to church today, you don't feel like it, or the game's on tonight, don't, don't, you know, you can watch the NBA finals, you don't have to go out there tonight, and you know you need to be there, because every time you go, God blesses you, you know, the presence of the Lord is in the house, and he always makes an impartation on you, in, in your life. However, you know, you listen to the tricks and all the snares of the evil one. He's trying to deter you from God. He doesn't want you to get to closer to God. He doesn't want you to get to know God better. That's his, his, major, his major employment, bit of employment. The one thing he hated most was Adam and Eve walking in the garden in the cool of the day with God. He hated that. He said, I have to break up that fellowship. I have to break up that koinonia, that union that they have with God. So he wants to get you focused on all the do's and don'ts and all your works and everything and never a relationship with God. And so those are tricks also. He'll trick you into doing a lot of things, into not wanting to serve by giving your monetary gain toward the work of, or the, the work of God or the cause of Christ. He wants to trick you into you know, not wanting to love your husband or love your wife. He'll have people spew venom about somebody. Before you know it, you're not liking that person and you never even talk to the person yourself. And so he uses tricks and ploys like that to deceive God's people. So be mindful. Use your discerning abilities, you know, so that you won't be tricked and caught in the snare of the evil one and miss out on the blessings of God or get used by the devil. You don't want that. All right. So now, and before I close right now, click on subscribe right there and subscribe to BFABP.com. That's Believers from a Biblical Perspective. And also I have some books out there. Just go to uh, BFABP.com and then click on literature and you can see some books that I have available for you right now as well. And make comments. Leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. If you have any questions, send a question. I'll be glad to respond to it. Thank you so very much.